welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. In tonight's news, Tullahoma Mayor Lane Curley gave his final State of the City address. Jack Daniels has canceled its annual barbecue competition, and Shelbyville had a peaceful George Floyd protest. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Hello, I'm Ray Nois. This is a critical time in Tullahoma. On August the 6th, voters will have an opportunity to elect a new mayor, one who can provide proven, experienced leadership, one who knows how to get things done and keep Tullahoma moving. I recognize the value of Tullahoma's excellent school system. Our system is recognized as one of the best in the state, and I'll ensure that our schools continue at that level. I will not vote to raise property taxes in order to have a balanced budget until all other options have been exhausted. I'll work closely with our city staff to ensure that my physically conservative values are incorporated. I've served on all city boards involved in economic development. I see that as a way that we can broaden our tax base and avoid a property tax rate increase. Some developers have had issues with our planning and codes department. I'll commit to these improvements. There'll be consistency in the instructions from planning and codes without changes from day to day and there'll be predictable timelines for providing delivery dates for plan reviews, permits, and inspections. Timelines that will be met reliably. Now while we can't do much about the traffic on 41A and 55, we can improve our local streets and sidewalks. And this I commit to do. So I ask for your vote for proven, experienced leadership. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back. At Monday night's Tullahoma Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting, Mayor Lane Curley gave his final State of the City address. We bring you the second part of that address tonight. Despite the national and international challenges that have impacted Tullahoma, I am so proud and pleased with what the people of Tullahoma have accomplished this year. I'll mention but a few. In March, the Tullahoma Micropolitan Area was recognized as the number 37 Micropolitan Area in the U.S by Site Selection Magazine, 37 in the country. In May, the Tullamore Micropolitan Area was ranked seventh nationally for our entrepreneurial ecosystem's capacity to foster strong growth by a think tank affiliated by the Wal with the Walton Foundation. Polycon once again selected the Tullahoma Micropolitan Area as the number one <coughs> micropolitan area in the state. Friends, these are all objective, uh, evaluations of our community and we are 37 in the country in one, seven in the country in another, and first in Tennessee. Over 100 new companies now call Tullahoma home. The Chamber of Commerce added 46 new members, bringing their total membership to over 400, breaking their record. The 2020 THS graduates once again earned millions of dollars in scholarship monies. The Thomas City Schools nutrition staff served over 100,000 meals to children during the extended school closure. Tullahoma was one of 10 communities selected in the TVA region to participate in the Innovation Academy to develop methods to boost entrepreneurial startups in Tullahoma. We welcomed several high profile retailers and saw several local industries expand. Light tube subscriber counts exceeded 4,000. TUA dedicated their solar farm. There were 582 building permits with a total valuation of $49,954,521.41. Remarkable. Downtown renovations are continuing with much more work in progress. The Sports Council inducted the second group of Tullahoma Sports Hall of Fame honorees. In my opinion, our chief job as mayor and alderman is to define our vision and inspire the community to help reach the vision. It is critical we keep our eyes on our bold vision for Tullahoma to be considered world class in everything we do. 
from job creation to cleanliness to high school graduation rates and everything in between, I want Tullahoma to be the best and considered a world-class community. There appears to be a great deal of confidence in Tullahoma, both from citizens already here and from outsiders looking to invest here. And many more exciting things are on the drawing board. By growing Tullahoma, diverse jobs will be created from entry level to the professional level. The opportunities are ours, but we do not want to wait on opportunities, we want to create them. Many of the positive actions I presented are due to the efforts of the city government and affiliated agencies. However, there are countless acts of goodwill that quietly happen every day by Tullahoma citizens, businesses, churches, and organizations that truly make a positive difference in the lives of all Tullahomans. Thanks everyone for all you do to make Tullahoma a great place to work, live, play, and raise our families. Once again, I want to challenge all of us by three thoughts. Great cities are intentional, not accidental. In other words, we must have a plan and take strategic steps to accomplish our plan. Number two, why can't Tullahoma be the best in everything we do? Some city is going to be the best. Why not Tullahoma? We should always strive to be the best in everything we do. Number three, if you really love Tullahoma, you have to help make Tullahoma better. We all have opportunities to improve Tullahoma, whether through your school, job, civic club, church, neighborhood, or household. Get involved. Make a difference. Leave Tullahoma better than when you found it. In summary, Tullahoma is truly a blessed community. We have so much to be thankful for and so much to look forward to. While it truly is a great day to be in Tullahoma, let's always remember we can make a great community even greater. Let's leave Tullahoma better than when we found it by the work we do and the decisions we make. I look forward to watching what this board, the city government, and the citizens of Tullahoma accomplish in the next fiscal year. It truly is a great day to be in Tullahoma. Thank you. We'll be right back in just a moment with more news later on 6. You made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons, to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again, just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at tennesseetrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. Welcome back. On Tuesday, Jack Daniels Distillery canceled the 2020 Jack Daniel World Invitational Barbecue due to COVID-19 concerns. The announcement came over social media where their spokesperson said, quote, for 31 years, Jack Daniels has been honored to host the Jack Daniels World Championship Invitational Barbecue, which brings top teams from all over the world to compete in what many consider the crown jewel of the barbecue world. After much careful thought and consideration we've made this tough decision to cancel this year's competition. The health, safety, and well-being of our competitors and attendees is our highest priority, as well as a desire to maintain the Jack status as the premier competitive barbecue event. We believe this is just the right thing to do. We share the disappointment, but hope everyone will mark their calendars for October 8th and 9th, 2021, because there will be smoke back again in the hollow." End quote. This this would have been the 32nd year of the annual barbecue competition, which saw approximately 40,000 guests for the annual event. 
At the most recent Tullahoma City School Board meeting, there was a discussion about furniture costs for the school board offices. We need to vote on the office furniture for the central office. Go ahead. Factory Furniture has uh, sent us an updated price based on uh, um, combination of additions and upgrades. Uh, this was an increase in the amount of 23106 uh, which brings our total to 172,563 um, for uh, that's that's the entire building um, for your boardroom and each of the offices. And some of those changes were made in, in each office, and some of those, from what I understand, then Jason, a lot of these are these uh, side tables that would be used during uh, receptions and also for seating for staff and that type of thing during regular meetings. Is that correct? That is correct, sir. Any questions or comments? I completely agree that an update to our central office has been long in coming. And in the future, we aspire to maintain and, and or upgrade the office in a more timely manner. I am already very happy with the new paint and look forward to the completed update. That being said, I have two concerns about these office furniture changes, specifically the foyer chairs and the guest chairs. First of all, in light of public contact and the heightened concern about germs, I am inclined to favor chairs made of antimicrobial materials, which can be easily cleaned or disinfected at a rate that exceeds what we do or did formerly. Such furniture has to be able to withstand some extra cleaning. I am very apprehensive about the cost increases proposed for both the foyer chairs and the guest chairs. First of all, the foyer chairs. The original chairs, two of them, were priced at $649 each for a total of $1,298. The newly proposed chairs are priced at, um, I, got, I got a wrong figure here, but uh, $1,898 for a total of $3,798. $3,798. That's the foyer chairs. The guest chairs, the original chairs, we're talking about 50, were priced at $369 each for a total of $18,450. The newly proposed chairs are priced at $511 each. 50 of those chairs brings it to a total of $22,550. I really want this to be revisited. Antimicrobial stacking chairs are available for substantially less. They run per chair anywhere from $139 to $175 or more. If we find a chair that we like for $149, for example, our total cost for 50 chairs will be under $10,000 if the subtotal would be $7,450. I would like to conclude by saying that I have no issues with items C through L of the central office furniture changes, but I believe that if we dial back on the foyer and the guest chairs, we will not have a need to increase our spending to the tune of $23,106. I thank you all. Uh, any questions or comments further? I would like to say that these upgrades that we have, it was with the, uh, first of all, they have a lifetime warranty instead of just a limited warranty they also will be able will be able to clean those uh where the others were of a fabric that we could not so the, these upgrades will be very helpful as far as being able to uh maintain and also the warranty okay and that's regarding the chairs that okay. i just wanted to say that anybody else not, I will call the question then. If you're for the motion, please respond by raising your hand. All right. Any opposed? All right. It should be 6 1, Ms. Vaughn. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The Tullahoma Police Department is warning about the dangers of fentanyl being used as, as an additive in illicit drugs in the area. Police Chief Jason Williams said, quote, the use of fentanyl is not new to our community and the danger continues to be a serious concern for law enforcement. To see this drug used with fatal and near fatal consequences is extremely 
concerning. We want to remind people of the danger of using opioids and other hard drugs that could be mixed with opioids, end quote. Signs of fentanyl overdose include slow, irregular, shallow breathing, clammy skin, pinpoint pupils, and loss of consciousness. Naloxone or Narcan can be used to reverse the effects of an op opioid overdose. Naloxone kits are available by, for free by contacting the regional overdose prevention specialist, Matt Brown, at his email address, which is matt.brown.rops at gmail.com or by phone at 931-308-5463. The, the immunity law in Tennessee will provide protection for people who in good faith seek medical assistance for a person experiencing a drug overdose. Members of the public with information on drug trafficking or other criminal activity are asked to email the Tullahoma Police Department at tpd at tullahomatn.gov or message Tullahoma Police Department on Facebook. All tips are confidential. More news is coming up in a moment. I'm Philip Bourne, Stemming Nab Detail Shop Manager. Here are a few things our customers have to say about our service. What I love most about the Stemming Nab Detail Shop is there's someone local that I can trust to pick up my car, have it cleaned, and deliver it back to me in showroom condition. What really amazed me is when he opened the hood and looked like he had taken the old engine out and put a new engine inside. We have several different packages and individual services to get your vehicle looking like new again. We're located just behind Stemming Nab Chevrolet dealership. Call today, schedule an appointment, and see what a difference our detail can make. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. If you want to apply for the Paycheck Protection Program, time is about to run out. Here is a helpful video if you need more information. If you have a small business and you might need help to get through the pandemic, you can still apply for the Paycheck Protection Program, but time is running out. That deadline is June 30th, and there is still millions of dollars available for those who need it. The federal government relaxed guidelines, and now businesses have 24 weeks to use the money instead of the original eight weeks. That means you can use the money without having to pay it back if you use it all before December 31st. And the loans can be repaid over five years instead of two if you even have to pay the money back at all. PPP is much better now for restaurants, hospitality, those who really can't get open right now and who can't get employees on their payroll right now. So it's a lot more flexible. But the program was met with technical difficulties, controversy with those big companies getting money that was meant for small businesses. And then the program just ran out of money. Now that's not the case. And there is still plenty of money available. The problem is that there's just a lot less demand for the program. The guidance has been very confusing. A lot of small businesses have just said, hey, I'm not going to bother with it. With Tennessee State Parks open again, the Parks Association has put together this video to let you know what will be different when you visit. Don't visit if you're sick or were recently exposed to someone with COVID-19. When choosing a park to visit, only visit those parks closest to your home. This is a time to stay local. Only visit places that you can maintain at least six feet of social distance at all times. It's best to visit earlier in the day to allow yourself time in case a park is full. We may have to limit access to certain parks or areas if they reach capacity. If parking lots are full, please consider returning at a different time. Also, we ask that you do not park along shoulders on the roadway. As you prepare for your visit, remember that many of our buildings are going to be closed during this time. Please come prepared with water, snacks, and hand sanitizer. Some restrooms may remain open, but many will not. It's better to plan for the restrooms to be closed than to be unexpectedly disappointed. Even if restrooms are open at the park, we ask that you do your best to keep them clean and practice appropriate hygiene. We encourage you to bring a mask and wear it when around other people. Finally, when it's time to leave, clean up to yourselves. Dispose of trash in appropriate containers or take it with you. Our staff are still available over the phone, 
or to respond to emergencies. We'll be right back in a moment with more news later. Here at Stan McNabb Collision Center, we work with all major insurance companies and we get the job done right the first time, all time. Well, I grew up in Tullahoma. We'd always done business with Stan McNabb, so when we needed collision service after a run-in with a deer, we knew to call those guys. We already had trust with them. We called Cody. He took great care of us. He kept us posted every step of the way, and we couldn't have been more pleased. Getting your vehicle back to pre-loss condition shouldn't be a headache. So in the event of an accident, contact me, Cody Hall, at Stan McNabb Collision Center. Welcome back. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee spoke about how the state is helping businesses provide testing for their employees. I want to call on Tennessee businesses today. Uh, we invite employers, especially those of our larger facilities, manufacturing facilities, large numbers of employees, to uh, work with us to coordinate pop-up testing facilities for your companies and for your employees. Again, it helps all Tennesseans when any Tennessean gets a test. And uh, as more employees return to work, we want to work with employers uh, to have those employees tested. Last week, state employees began to come back uh, to work in their office place. And, and we, have, we, we offered testing to state, to state workers. We want to do the same thing for industries all across the state. So our unified command group can work with any employer that wants to, that wants to set up a pop-up test for their facility. Um, information is available on our website and we encourage uh, employers to engage in that. News leaders Marilyn Ewing recently spoke with Shelbyville Mayor Chad Graham about the George Floyd protest that happened there. Yeah, we, uh, it did kind of um, show up on the radar, if that's the right term kind of late on Saturday yeah. for us. We had been monitoring, and of course state officials monitor sure. internet traffic and what have you, but uh, it did not appear early on that Bedford was particularly a place where we might see mm -hmm. demonstration. Mm -hmm. uh, but we did find out late in the night on Saturday that there, that there was uh, an effort or interest mm -hmm. in a peaceful, yes. it was put out as a peaceful yes. uh, demonstration or protest. And, and, and we're certainly in support of people expressing sure. their their concerns and yeah. their needs. Yeah. Uh, but we uh, rapidly put our team together. Of course, the city of Shelbyville and Bedford County has some experience with protests, okay. as you know from the past, mm -hmm. uh, with good outcomes, meaning that we were able to manage the mm -hmm. situation, diffuse it, both sides feeling uh, reasonably uh, represented yeah. and, uh, and on to the yeah. to uh to other things so Absolutely. so that that experience that ability to draw on those resources and kind of understand better what what we might be facing i think did give us some advantage yeah. and on short notice of, yeah. of putting together the the process but it, it went well and all the agencies again the city and county law enforcement state officials as well as local mm -hmm. uh we were all united in taking a look at how to best make sure that we had the right scenario or situation on the ground not to inflame but to certainly not disenfranchise. Right. My heart goes out to those business owners for the uh, other cities who are just kind of doing those wild and crazy things, looting and, yeah, and uh, burning and that type of thing. I, I certainly am comfortable and want to say to you that um, my heart goes out to the Floyd family, yeah. obviously not knowing them, but there's no question that those officers' actions or inactions led to the death of this man. There's no question about that. That's right. Now, there's no question that they've been charged and they'll have to stand in the court system for that. Yeah. But what's most important here, and I, I do want to be clear about this because I do think this is most correct, but violence cannot be the remedy for this kind of situation mm -hmm. or incident. Mm -hmm. That just can't be. Right. We cannot have that. Um, but there's an awful lot of folks that are disenfranchised. Yeah. 
and uh, you can see and understand uh, how there is frustration yes. and despair. And we see that right here in our local communities. Sure. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness we don't see that kind of violence. But, but there's no question that folks uh, aren't all equal and not all folks are given the same opportunities. That's part of, of the uh, frustration that I have yeah. as your mayor. One of the, where I feel that at the local level we can make a difference for the future and the community though is through education. Mm -hmm. our, public, our, our public school system is uh, a real opportunity to make sure that we are given these folks mm -hmm. Uh, the educational tracks and opportunities, the foundation to grow and build on, so that they have opportunities and hope. In a lot of ways, uh, y you would look at this situation and, and say hope's hard to find in the midst of some of those folks, and that's right. and that's the travesty. We don't want that. That's right. And uh, uh, we want to be uh, the right community for everyone. Mm -hmm. Stay with us. Your weather forecast is coming up right after this. Ah, the glory days. Running to daylight on the gridiron and chasing a ball with a mind of its own. Cheering the team to victory and marching to the beat of your own drum. Memories that last a lifetime. But sometimes we're reminded of our glory days in ways we'd rather forget. Get back in the game. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live and play well. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1930 at 99 degrees. The record low was in 1974 at 50 degrees. Average high on this day is 86, and the average low is 65. Mostly clear weather expected tonight with a low of 64. Partly cloudy weather in the forecast for Friday with a high of 84 and a low of 66 and some storms expected in the evening hours of Saturday with a high of 82 and a low of 67. And that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 6, 8 and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening.